Hi guys, my name is Ravi Prakash and welcome to my YouTube channel Rodha. So here, uh, here is again a very good set on quant based puzzles that we'll do here. Okay, so let's look at this set guys. Okay, so again a very good set, fantastic set. Okay, uh, try this set at least for 15. If you're not able to solve it, try for at least 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, not less than that. So just try it hard, very hard, make all the cases. Okay. And always remember in LRDI, never. In LRDI, don't give up. Okay? So in LRDI, when you're solving any set, don't give up in between. Just keep on trying for 15, 20 minutes, right? That's how you'll be able to develop this knack of solving LRDI sets, attacking new sets. Okay, your mind will grow, your IQ, IQ level will grow. Okay, so all these things are interconnected. Okay, just try hard. Try hard a set. Okay, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Don't think too much of time. Time that time part you take care in your while practicing in sectionals okay but before solving 200 250 sets in lrdi there is absolutely no point of bothering about time okay if you bother about time then it will it will hamper at your preparation right because the if you solve if you try a set for six eight ten minutes your mind will not grow okay your problem solving skill will not improve so all we are trying to improve is what our problem solving skill okay so we have to improve this problem solving skill correct so that's why just keep on trying this set these sets okay at least 20 minutes 25 minutes 30 minutes okay so this set if you're not able to solve at least try it for 20 minutes okay and then see solution okay so we'll discuss solution now okay so i hope all of you have tried this set for at least 20 minutes if you have not solved it okay now let's uh, discuss this guys Deco. so now, what information I can uh, uh, I can extract from here? It's given that in the given matrix, each of the letters represents a distinct number from among one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so here we have got actually we have got uh, eight letters, right? So nine letters here. You observe A, A, B, C, D, E, right? You see here the letters are here A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. These are the distinct letters here, right? So these are represented by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Fine. Okay. So, and we don't know uh, what is the value of which letter, right? Okay. But these are in any order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's for sure given here. Fine. Now, R Muffel matrix is defined as the longest possible band of the continuous and adjacent cells, which are in the same row or same column. So, basically, in this set, if I see here, so A, B, C is an arm, okay, because it lies in same row, adjacent cell in same column. A, B, C is R1, let's call it. C, D, E is arm2, let's call it again. C, D, E are adjacent cells in the same uh, row. Now D, G, B is, let's say, arm3, again, adjacent cells in same column. They say, they say same column or same row, okay. So they call it here a same row or same column, right? Yeah. And then uh, E, then let's call it uh, B, H, E is again an arm that is in same row, arm number 4. GFE is in same column, arm number 5. And GHI is in same column, arm number 6. These are 6 arms here. Okay. And they say that uh, some of the numbers by the cell in each arm is same and equal to 14. Now this information tells me that A plus B plus C uh, is also 14. Okay. That is C plus D plus E is also 14 uh, D plus G plus B is also 14 then uh, arm 3 arm 4 B plus H plus E is also 14 right so understand this guys this in in this kind of sets attacking point is very very important okay we learn how to attack this kind of sets okay G plus F plus E is also 14 and G plus H plus I is also 14 right it's a very very good cat level set okay now, so basically I have to do something with this sum. Okay, so basically A, B, C, C, D, E, C, D, G, E, all, this, all these sums are given. These are the six equations for me, right? So let's call it uh, uh, again. Equation 1 I can call it is equation 2, equation 3, equation 4, equation 5, equation 6. Okay, and this, uh, this first one, was, one was equation 1. Yeah, it's called equation 1. Okay. Chalo, fine. Now, Let's discuss this now. So I can sense that, okay, once we saw that we have been given all the nine numbers here, 
among a to h so i can write the equation write an equation here like a plus b plus c plus d plus e a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f plus g plus h plus i these are the nine distinct numbers for me okay and these all are represented by nine uh, sorry nine distinct letters these are the nine distinct letters for me uh, in this uh, in this uh, grid and among this uh, all the values are distinct number from 1 to 9 that means there sum must be a uh, 1 to 9 the sum of should be 1 to 9 in any order right okay and its sum will be what its sum will be 45 because what we know that any is anything from 1 to n right so anything from 1 to n so it's like for example we have got a uh, 1 to n that sum is always given by n into n plus 1 by 2 that is okay so 9 here 9 into 10 by 2 is equal to 45 fine so a to i that sum is equal to 45 here okay so if a to i that sum is here 45 so now I just I try to generate one equation right so we'll try to generate one equation here okay that okay uh, I want to attack c and g here okay so I want to attack c and g if I want to attack c and g here let's observe let's look at this equation right let's look at pick, pick this equation one in equation one we have got a b c okay in equation two we have got c d e so if I add equation one and two c will appear two times right that's fine because all the other data is irrele irrelevant for me right so what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to generate a generate an equation generate an equation here okay which after subtracting from this seven equation number seven all the irrelevant data is erased uh, or cancelled and only c and g is left okay so in equation one in equation two we have got again uh, if i add one and two i'll get c twice that's fine then if i move further guys so if i see here then uh, I'm focusing on uh, C and G only, right? So obviously now I, I see here that if I add these two equations also, so I'll get G two times, okay? So C will, now adding one, two will get C two times, adding uh, five, six will get G two times, right? And then also uh, while doing that, I'll also get E also two times, right? So I cannot avoid this actually because obviously each equation contains three terms. If you're going to add, uh, if you're going trying to uh, get C and G two times at least, then I, then also E should uh, E should also be coming two times, right? So we cannot do that uh, that part, right? We cannot help with with that part, okay? But that's fine. I'm trying to get the equation in terms of C and G at least, right? So see what is my aim now? So if I add this one two five six, so I'm adding this equation number one two five six. A very good fund see what we'll try to do from here is if i add this one two five six what i'll be getting is what i'll be getting is a is coming one time b is coming one time you see that c is coming two times twice of c then you see that uh, uh this uh, d is coming one time then you see that e is coming two times e is coming two times so i'll write twice of e then i see that f is coming only one time here that's fine then i see that g is coming two times twice of g then I see that H is only one time, I is only one time. That is right. And because each value uh, is 14, so adding four equations will give me 56. This is my equation eight. Now, if I subtract this equation seven and eight from here, what are we getting? So if I subtract it, A cancel, B cancel. Okay, then uh, this will be subtract eight from seven. So two C minus C is C. Again, D cancel. Two E minus E is uh, E and again f cancel 2g minus g is g and uh, h and h i and i will get cancelled and 56 minus 45 is equal to 11 so that's a good part right so we because the fourth equation was only in terms of c and g so my attacking point here was only c and g okay so obviously e will also come because i cannot uh, write any equation in terms of only c and g okay if you're trying to repeat c and g two times why two times because I got one equation for sum from a to i so i i need to attack only on c and g right so all the other right now is irrelevant for me all the other data so i just wanted to cancel it right so that's why i did okay so again okay, nice. it's a very good step very nice step here okay now c plus e plus g is 11 right now let's move further okay now c plus e plus g is 11. so what i got from this data is now that c plus e plus g is equal to 
11, correct? Okay. Now, once you got, get that C plus E plus G is equal to 11. Huh? Now, it says that a uh, product of C and G is an odd number. That basically means that C will also be an odd number and G will also be an odd number. That uh, because uh, product of C and G is an odd number, so both will be odd numbers, right? To odd into odd will always be odd. Okay, so odd into odd will always be odd. That's the point here. Fine. Now, uh, let's uh, take uh, take a few values here. So, what can be the possibilities here? Okay. So from with uh, from uh, in, in uh, among these numbers here. Okay. So uh, obviously, if C and G are odd, so if C is odd. If G is odd, then also E will also be an odd only because odd plus odd plus odd is also odd. So odd plus odd plus odd will be odd actually. 11 is an odd number here. Okay, so 11 is an odd. So C needs to be odd. C is odd. G is odd. So E also needs to be odd here. Fine. That means E is also an odd number here. So C, E, G both all are odd numbers. Fine. Now tell me, so uh, with the C, E and G odd numbers, so from uh, here, I have only f I have odd numbers available are 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. There are 5 odd numbers available, right? So C plus E plus G is 11. So which combination will give me 11? So obviously, uh, I think um, among these numbers, 3 odd numbers. So 1 plus 3 plus uh, 3 plus 5 plus no, 3 distinct numbers, right? So only one combinations. Or combination 1 3 and 7 in any order order we don't know okay so 1 plus 3 plus 7 will give me 11 1 plus 3 plus 7 will give me 11 right so C E G will take any value C E G will take any value from 1 3 7 in any order we don't know that that can be shuffled right but for sure they will take 1 3 7 that's for sure okay so let's uh let's we can write we can write down write down this okay that 1 3 7 here fine we have written this Okay, now let's move to next point here guys. Now observe this actually because we now we need to think upon that which values are relevant and which are not here. Okay, so now uh, let's let's uh, observe few cases here. Okay, so now obviously C, E, G is 1, 3, 7. Okay, so obviously are always if you want to check for cases, check for the maxima or minima. Now in the first case, if I check for E is equal to 1. Now I'll see, I'll just check that is E equal to one possible, right? E equal to one. It's starting the minimum value. And because C and G uh, are given in the question, E is not relevant for me right now. So I'll just start off with E. So let's say E is equal to one, I'll give in this value. Now, if E equal to one, then obviously uh, one case will be C is equal to three and a G equal to seven. And the other case will be C equal to seven and G equal to three. Now tell me, C equal to 3 and G equal to 7. Is it true? Now just check, check here guys. If C is equal to 3 and uh, G is equal to 7. Correct. If C is equal to 3, G equal to 7 and E equal to 1. Okay. So in that case, the sum should be 14, right? And uh, uh, the sum of an arm should be 14 here. Okay. So now you see that uh, if C is 3 and E is 1. So 1 plus 3 is 4. So to make this sum as 14, D should be 10. Then sum of this arm will be equal to 14, right? But then I have to cross check that sum of this arm also should be 14. So if D is 10 and G is seven, so already it is 17. So B can't be minus three, right? B can't be minus three, okay? Because the, all the data are positive integers from one to nine, okay? So that means B equal, that means G, D 10 and G seven is not possible, okay? So first case is not possible, fine. Let's move to second case here. E equal to one, if E is equal to one, and now C seven G three. Now let's cross check for C seven G three guys. Okay, if C seven and G three. So if E equal to one, C seven and G three here, take it. So now let's check here. E is equal to one, C seven G three. E is equal to one, now C seven G three. So C is seven and G is three. Now is this case possible? So we'll just check that if C is seven, E is one, then sum is actually eight. So this sum needs to be 14, right? This sum needs to be 14. Okay. So for that D will be equal to six, seven and one, eight and six, 14. Now if D is six, G is three, then E equal to, or uh, then uh, obviously B equal to five. Oh, looks correct. Okay. Till now. Okay. Now further, uh, if I, if I see further on, so 
E C seven and G three. Now, okay, let's come here. C seven and G three. Yes. Now let's cross check here. C seven and G three. So if G is three here, okay, and E is one, then F needs to be ten. Then F needs to be ten. Correct. F needs to be ten. Okay. So E is one. G is uh, E is one. G is three, and F is equal to ten. So this sum is what? This sum is fourteen, but F cannot be ten. Okay, because we don't have any ten here. The value can be maximum till nine. That means this case is also discarded. Okay, so e is equal to one is not possible. E is equal to one is not possible. Okay, then I'll check for. So if e equal to one is not possible, then second case I'll check for e equal to three. Now same thing you'll find here. If e equal to three, I'll make two cases. C equal to one. G equal to seven. And c equal to seven, uh, g equal to one. Okay, let's make it, guys. Okay, here only I'll make. Okay. Now, just guys, just learn this funda. Okay, while solving such set na a bit tougher set, lot of negativity comes in my mind. Okay, every time people uh, uh, people think, okay, this much long set can I do in CAT? Can he CAT me? I go kya? And all these things will rise in my mind, right? This the all these things are irrelevant. You see the paper of uh, CAT twenty twenty, CAT twenty nineteen, very good LRDI sets, high quality, tough sets. Okay, so you got to build your mind like that, right? So just try these sets, and as I told, never give up. Okay, never give up, right? Now C if E if if you check similarly, right? I'll check E equal to three, C equal to one. Then if somebody is some is like three and one four, then D will be ten. So again, it is not possible. This is not possible. Right? D cannot be ten. Maximum is nine. Similarly, E three C seven G one. E three. Now check for C seven, and now take G one. So if this is three seven, and this is three, then G is one. So for the same reason, uh, re uh, reason three one, the F will be ten now. So again, F cannot be ten. Second case also not possible. That means now I am sure that I am more closer to my answer. That yes, my value for e is equal to for sure e equal to seven, and the final two cases I need to make even e equal to seven, then c will be equal to one or g will be equal to three, or it's vice versa c will be equal to three or g will be equal to one. So let's uh, make this final case here. Okay, now finally I got e is equal to seven. So I just put here e equal to seven. I'll put it fine. Now let's do this uh, two cases, guys. Now, let's just say the first case here. When e is equal to seven, we are solving now. We got the fixed value, right? Now, first case for it. The first case for it. Uh, let's say c equal to one and g equal to three. Obviously, right? If you look here, so these are the cases, right? So c e g three is one three seven. So e we e one crossed e three crossed. Now e is seven. When e is seven, so now uh, e is seven. So now c and g could be one and three. Okay. So I'll make two cases here. First case C one G three, and second case uh, C three and G one. Correct. Now this one case has to give me the final answer, right? Now if you see this, so if C equal to one and G, look at the first case, right? Let's look at the first case. C equal to one and G equal to three. If I put C equal to one and G equal to three, so obviously that will give me D equal to six. Correct, right? That will give me D equal to six. One six seven and seven because this row needs to be fourteen. If D equal to six, G equal to three, then again this column also needs to be fourteen, right? So for that, B will be equal to five. Now if B is equal, if B is equal to five here, let's put B equal to five. If I put B equal to five here, one plus five is six. This is I'm solving case one, right? When I give C one and G three, okay. So one plus five is six. This column also needs to be fourteen. So one plus five is six. Then a will be equal to eight. Six plus eight fourteen. Okay, going to, going fine till now. Okay, now uh, finally, uh, g l three put here. So g is three. E is seven. Seven is three plus seven is ten. So f should be four. Four. It doesn't glass. It's still fine. Okay. Now uh, when e is equal to seven, so b is five. E is seven. So b is five. E is seven here. B is five, E is seven here. Then H will be equal to two. Correct, right? H equal to two. Yeah. And then when H equal to two, I'll put here. 
so g is 3 h is 2 5 so i should be equal to 9 so i is equal to 9 so i think we got all the values right so in by putting in this case we got all the values here okay so i'll just put all the values let's say uh, c1 g3 we got and now after that i can put all the values like a is equal to 8 we got we got b is equal to 5 we got c uh, c1 already i got i've written uh, d6 will get will get d is equal to 6 we'll get e uh, e7 already so e is 7 fine c1 e7 c1 g3 a8 b5 d6 h is equal to 2 okay so h is equal to 2 so i'll write here h is equal to 2 i is equal to 9 okay so 2 plus 3 5 to 7 values we got then g f is equal to 4 and then uh, b5 c1 yeah correct so we got all the values here okay one value missing no a b a b c uh, e equal to 7 right okay now let's move to case 2 here okay this this case looks correct right so let's check that there's one more case possible or not if i check for c3 and g1 so just rub this data guys okay so we'll make it make a table here only so c3 and g1 Okay, now let's play the second case here. When C is equal to 3, when G is equal to 1, and when E is 7. Correct? Now let's quickly solve it. C3 and E7, 3 plus 7 is 10. So D should be 4 to make this row 14. 4 plus 1, 5. So B will be equal to 9 to make this column 14. Uh, then we got uh, B equal to 9. Then A should be equal to 3 plus 9 is 12. So A should be 2 to make this uh, again column 14. Okay then we got uh, what else e f e f we got g we got yes g equal to 1 we got so when g is equal to 1 f is equal to 6 to make it again this 14 g already 1 we got right so f is 6 we got 14 here okay then h and i is left so already e we got as 7 right so e is 7 so now so you see 9 plus 7 16 so this row sum cannot be equal to 14 that means this case 2 is crossed so case 1 is the final answer okay such a beautiful set it is right so just solve this set grow uh, grow your or uh, increase your iq level grow your mind okay and uh, don't be negative right that this set will not come this is a tough set and it's fine yeah it's a very good set, tough set but that that's what cat expects right you can see that cat 2020 paper cat 2019 paper okay very good tough sets for the especially in cat 2020 right so you got to move like that okay now let's answer, answer, answer the question guys the question says that what is the value of h the first question the value of h is quite simple we got 2 then 2 is the answer i'll put 2 here h is equal to 2 digit 5 is which one okay by which letter digit 5 is which letter digit 5 is b okay it's b digit 5 is b okay then if ghi and abc are three eight numbers so ghi so ghi is what guys ghi and abc so G H I is three, two, and uh, three two and G nine. So G H I is three two nine. Okay, and A B C. What is A B C? Here? A is eight, B is five, and C is one. Eight five one. If I add this, I'll get eleven eighty. So G H I plus A B C is eleven eighty. So answer for third question is eleven eighty. Fine. What is the value of I plus A plus F? So I I plus A plus F I nine A eight and F four. So nine plus eight plus four. Okay. So nine plus eight plus four twenty one is the answer. That's it. Okay. So thank you for watching, guys. So again, just uh, this is a very good playlist of quant based puzzles I have made for all of you. Okay. I'll be uh, I'll keep on adding sets here. Okay. Just finish all the uh, sets of quant based puzzles. Okay. Thank you. And also, also this combat guys, okay, so this uh, combat, uh, you know, it's a very good test series, it contains some good high quality questions, okay, so there are easy questions are, are not asked here, so it basically it contains only 
good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts okay and uh, uh, this from this sunday onwards it is in basically revised format so basically we are mo- moving closer to cat right now so in january february and march we were like away uh, we are around 8 to 10 months away from cat so the questions we put off maybe some uh, easier or medium level right but this from now onwards the questions will be of higher higher level okay and uh, all the lrd assets also um this quant questions also and basically it's a fun it's fun right actually giving this is a fun because after every question you get you get get, get your live ranking okay then uh, after every question the faster you answer the better your the better your rank is right you get more points so actually the, those one hour test is a fun and actually if you look at the cat you should give a uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and test before cat okay and this one of your high quality tests absolutely free of cost and uh, now from uh, early it was not that rewarding but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this i think okay so rank 1 to 3 one year subscription i think around 20000 or 75% scholarship or 50% so so great prizes are on offer here okay so get it live from your mobile app you just put the in, uh, link here i'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here ravi roda it ask you for invite code it is absolutely absolutely free of cost okay ask you for invite code put ravi roda and the link i'll put in description just enroll from there okay and do give this every sunday do give this at 12 pm it's on every sunday okay so every sunday give this on 12 pm thank you